before you make your next coconut rice please watch this video because it gets why this rice it's not a regular coconut rice. This is so delicious. The taste of this rice is out of this world. Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Chidera. If today is your first time coming across this channel, you're welcome. Please consider subscribing, okay? Don't forget to like this video, share this video. Always leave your comments for me in the comment section, okay? And if you want to go ahead, to appreciate me more you can always use the thanks button and to all my new subscribers thank you so much guys for subscribing to my ogs thank you guys for always coming back to support me so guys without wasting much time let's get started so guys here are my ingredients i used to prepare this coconut rice so for my coconut milk, I made the coconut milk myself, okay? I just blended two coconuts with water and extracted the milk. So I extracted it and got me this size of coconut milk. So I always prefer to use raw coconut than the store bought ones. Like the taste is very different. You can try it if you have not tried it before. So here is my chicken breast. I cut it into chunks, okay? It's already washed. And here is my smoked mackerel fish. I always smoke my fish myself. So here is my meat, ginger and garlic, chopped onions, and here I have pepper and tatashi. So this is scotch bonnet pepper and tatashi roughly blended. And I'll be making use of crayfish. So I don't use much crayfish in my coconut rice. Okay, I don't. I don't want the taste of the crayfish to overshadow the taste of the coconut rice. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So we are going to start now to marinate this chicken. So here I'm going to be adding in my spices. Just go in with any spices of your choice. Okay, so this is curry powder. It's optional. If you don't want, you can just leave it. And I'll also be going with my all-purpose seasoning. Then I'm going to be adding in my oregano. You can use thyme if you don't have oregano. Just adding any seasoning and spice of your choice, okay? That you prefer. And then I will add in the meat, ginger and garlic. You can use ginger and garlic powder if you have. I don't have it, so that's what I'm making for the next one. I will go in now with my olive oil, and then I'm going to mix this very well so that I can combine everything together. So I forgot to add in my onions previously. I'm going to be adding it now. So this is my grated onions, okay? I'm just going to mix it. And this is what we have after mixing. If you have time, you can just allow it to sit for some minutes. But if not, let's proceed to the frying our chicken. So I just heated up some oil and then I'm going to be adding in my chicken. I'm going to be stir frying this until I didn't check the time. So I'm going to stir fry this until the chicken is cooked. Remember, we are not cooking this chicken again. So make sure that you stir fry this chicken until it is cooked. If you don't want, you can also grill your chicken or you can also boil the chicken, okay? But I prefer this because I want to test in my coconut rice. And don't forget to always keep an eye on the chicken when you are stir frying it. So now our chicken is cooked. I'm going to take it out from the pot now. I'm done taking out the chicken from the pot. So if you want, you can just wash your pot or change it. But I'm going in straight with my oil and onions. Okay. So I'm just going to add in my onions now. The oil is already hot. 
that's why I just added in my onions immediately. So I'm just going to stir this and then I'll be adding in my oregano and my curry powder. If you know me, you will know that I love to add my spices directly in the oil because this enhances the flavor of the oil. Like if you have not been doing this, please try start now to do it because it enhances the flavor of the oil and it's going to make your food to come out so so tasty okay? when you hear of flavorful oil this is the flavorful oil so i'll just add in my curry powder now and i'm going to stir this allow this to fry for about two minutes okay guys if you have watched me up to now and you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to our channel okay subscribe to my channel like this video Leave your comment for me in the comment section, okay? And also help me to share this video. I always see your shares. Thank you to all those who always share my video. God bless you all. So I'm just going to add in my minced ginger and garlic now. And then I will let this fry for some minutes, okay? So after some minutes, I'm going to be adding in my pepper and tatashi. So this is pepper and tatashi. This is not only pepper, this is pepper and tatashi. So I'm just going to stir this and then I'm going to allow this to fry very well, okay? So now I'm going to be adding in my washed rice. I didn't parboil the rice. Please take note. I did not parboil this rice. I only washed the rice. So I'm going to be adding in my rice now. And I'm going to be also stir frying this rice. Okay. I will add in my seasoning cube now. Please, whilst stir frying your rice, always keep an eye on it, okay? And stir it continuously, like at interval, so that the rice is not going to burn. And then I will add in my stir fish. I will add in the coconut milk now. So guys, you see this thing, the dancer they are looking at, it's not sand. That's the back of the coconut. Like, don't be scared to add it because it's not sand. It's not dead. That's the back of the coconut, okay? So that's the back of the coconut that settled at the bottom. So now I'm just going to stir and I will be adding salt because I tested for salt and it needed to adjust. So I'm going to be adjusting this with just a little salt, okay? So from this video, you will know that you will see that I did not add in any water. I just used only the coconut milk to cook this rice okay so i'm just going to stir this now and then i'll be adding in my smoked mackerel fish so if you are using any kind of fish this is the best time to add it after mixing up everything you add in your fish because you don't want the fish to scatter okay so i'm going to be adding in my 
my smoked mackerel fish now. And then I'm going to cover this pot and allow this rice to cook on medium to low heat. This is because I don't want to add extra water to this rice. Because if you are cooking it on high heat, your water is going to dry up quickly and you are going to keep adding in water, which will lose the taste of your rice. Okay. So now, guys, I'm going to add in our chicken now and I'm going to mix this. Guys, look how delicious this coconut rice is already looking like like tell me you don't love what you are saying tell me you don't love this coconut rice i want you to try out this recipe and if you have watched up to now please help me to like this video leave your comment for me in the comment section and also help me to share this video okay if you have not subscribed to this channel this is the best time for you to subscribe okay subscribe for more amazing recipes okay And guys, our coconut rice is ready. Look how delicious this coconut rice is looking like. So delicious. Like this came out so so delicious. Don't forget to do all those beautiful stuff to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until I come your way next time, please stay safe. Bye.